What's up YouTube, this is Sly for King here, and today you join me for part 12 of my Fallout series. Uh, in the last video we started to prepare to do the Deathclaw quest. Uh, we needed to look for a person called Harold in Old Town. I didn't know where Old Town, Old Town was. That's because I was looking in the wrong place. It turns out Old Town is actually a district of the hub. So now uh, I found it and uh, Harold's in here. So let's go and speak to him. Bear change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his oh. luck? <coughs> oh, Christ. Uh... Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got sp Spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. You can't look at them. It is said the Death Claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Good luck to you. You're going to need it. So, we got some information on the Death Claw, but we don't know its location. So, let's see what happens if I go back over here. If not, I'll have to look where the location is off, off camera, obviously. Oh dear, no. Do you know where it is? Ah, here it is. It's down by the southwest somewhere. There's an old mutants. Hmm, alright. No, it doesn't it doesn't seem that anyone's giving me the lo location, so I'm just going to have to look at it quickly off camera. Be back in a minute. So I found out where the location is. It turns out you need to speak to the person outside of Harold's house, so you need to speak to this person called Slappy. That's a great name, isn't it? doing around here uh, so let's go and talk to Harold first again that's weird oh hey it's you again anything I can do for you Uh, I was a funny backstory. The whole thing? Well, now, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. He was a vault dweller? Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault. Late one morning. Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making the circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Of course, they helped you, bonehead. 
Just too damn many to handle. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Love that joke. <laughs> we mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. Okay, now I'm starting to regret talking to him this long. To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so I, I never looked. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. All I know is it was something inside that base. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Okay, well, I can't look at it. Good luck to you. Alright, let's try this again. So now that I've talked to Harold... Ah, uh, I talked with Harold. The death course sounds pretty nasty. Deathclaw, Deathclaw, the the Deathclaw. Oh, I gained eight hundred experience points. Right, so experience. Sorry, I'm getting a bit lost again. Right, this is going to be very tricky, I think. Well, there's the death claw down there. Uh, yeah, this might this might uh, be very very deadly. So, uh, I think I'm going to try and kill the death claw in the next video. I think because I have a really really bad feeling that this isn't going to go well. So anyway, uh, there was part twelve of my Fallout series. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be facing a death claw. God help us. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that goes well, and I'll see you in the next video. So for now, this is Slifer King signing out.